On the occasion of my graduation from Manorini Technology High School this spring of 2011, I, Jose Lopez de do hereby bequeath the following. My transition from Manor Middle School to the new, at the time, Manor New Technology High School in 2007 was pretty smooth but stressful at times personally. All these emotions came to us as students when it comes to attending a new school and the start of a new grade level. Excited, nervous, confused, happy, anxious, fear, doubtful, panic. My first year at Manorini Tech was all about adaptation to this whole new environment. I had to get used to all the technology around the school, working in groups, the process it takes to complete a project, see through windows and doors, integrated core classes, and can't forget the rolling chairs. I remember in that time I was excited but freaking out as well because I did not know how it was going to be like. Before the school year started, I asked my cousin, Michelle Ortiz, if I had to know how to type fast in the computer. Ha ha ha. That year, I really enjoyed and had lots of fun learning both the content of the projects and how project-based learning was all about. Honestly, I have to say the last thing that I worried about was making friends. That same year, I played for a club in the Pflugerville Area Youth Soccer League which my uncle Jesus Ortiz and my aunt Nerina Ledesma convinced me and signed me up to play peso. The situation I was in the time was about me managing my time. I did not realize that until now that I recall this memory. I had soccer practice on Mondays and Wednesdays and games were usually on Sunday. My major accomplishment was that I adapted very quickly to the completely new different learning environment which helped me so much my freshman year. Round two. My sophomore year of high school, I can say there were some good moments and ones weren't so great. The school year was full of launch projects, research, workshops, and presentations. To add to this, I met new classmates and teachers, which was really nice because they were there to help you and listen to you. I was going to school Monday through Friday, and on the weekends I had a job. I worked in a booth at the 290 flea market. I was a sales attendant where I sold toys, shoes, socks, large picture frames, house decorations, and more. That year is remembered because of two things. First thing, I met this new girl at the school named Erica Luna. I had her for geometry class that year. The teacher taught the class and assisted by Ms. Negley. I really liked her and according to me, I was in love. She is a great friend, always there to help you in anything. She had me crazy, I was trying more in conquering her heart than in my classes. I was always thinking about her, but at the end, it didn't work out. Second thing, it was the end of April when my friend Marcos Echeverria invites Leslie Vanegas Martinez and me to join a solo car competition with him. We accepted, we together as a team designed the car and build it. That year, we were unstoppable. We won the high school champion cup for the first time with our car named Hondu Mix. Overall, my second year of high school had its ups and downs. High school experience is all about changing growth. Other situations I was exposed to helped me get a sense of maturity and responsibility. 11th grade and 12th grade, I will have to say were the toughest years of all, especially 12th grade for me. These two grade levels were crucial stages of high school for me because I had to worry about so many things. Junior year, I met someone very special that stole my heart the first time we glanced at each other. Isabel Morales is her name. She's so sweet, adorable, and can be mean if you give her a reason to be. She and I went through a lot, together and separated, there's something I can't quite explain when we are together. I know, I know, you're probably saying once again. Although all this was happening, I learned my lesson and I maintained my grades as up as possible. I don't know, but Elizabeth is my inspiration to live life to the fullest. And if I fall, to get up and keep going. 
GPA, grade point average, is depending on my grades that reflect my performance. For this reason, I do my best in school, no matter what. Staying after school gave me a boost of confidence in my work and me. Junior year accomplishments would be I was active in school where I joined the Key Club. Another accomplishment is for the second year in a row, Leslie and I won the Solo Car Race High School Champion Cup. Unfortunately, Marcos left us and was not able to attend. I also passed my Vortex test and got committed in math. This was an enormous accomplishment. At the end of the year, it felt time just flew by. All the situations I was exposed to helped me with the development of myself going from a child to a young adult. As a student, I consider myself a hard worker, intelligent, responsible. It is quite admirable my ability to balance a heavy workload. Knowing how much I have changed and knowledge gained for the past three years, I knew what I was capable of doing. Senior year came. I was determined to be active in school. I got into National Honor Society, Business Professionals of America, Key Club, Soccer Club, Robotics, Skate Club, and Latino Dance Club. As you can imagine, I was busy majority of the time in the week doing school work, staying after school for a club, or working as a sales attendant. For the first year, I met any tech. A college program was established called College Forward. I filled up an application and was accepted into the program. The College Forward meetings were on Mondays after school where we had snacks, applied to colleges and universities, wrote essays, applied for scholarships, and learned about financial aid, loans, and classes. We did all these things and learned so much about college with an assigned college coach. Marie Perry was the name of my College Forward coach that was in charge of me and she informed me about college and how everything works. My major accomplishments were with dedication and hard work, which I became a new member in NHS by receiving a 3.5 GPA or greater. My completion of the high school program College Forward, second place in the solar car race high school competition, many new technology award for being the best of award for excellence in both engineering and statistics. I want to thank Marie Perry, Ms. Mobley, Ms. Perry, and Ms. Caldwell for guiding me and helping me throughout all this college process. Thank you. High school is basically over for me, and I want to say thanks to all the staff. You are amazingly awesome for all you have done. After attending many new tech high school all four years, I am proud to say if I were to be born again, I would attend many new tech without thinking it twice. I, Jose Lopez Ledesma, of a bright mind, an athletic body, leave. To our soccer boys, competition in the gym with Moller, Isabel Morales, lots of love and kisses, the bar de Duchamp, Monica Luna, are times where we talked practically about everything, which I miss. Jesus signs, fun times eating healthy foods together and playing FIFA. To our students and staff, Moller's knowledge and recommendations over healthy lifestyles. To all incoming freshmen, the enormous and incredible new tech family which I'm leaving behind. My name is Jose Lopez Ledesma and this is my legacy.